I came across this on social media, on Insta, not Instagram, on Twitter. I want y'all to listen to what this man right here says. And his name is David Grossman. That is his name. And I want y'all to listen to what he just, what he says. I've been on the road for 18 years. People know me. They trust me. I get a depth of information. I ask questions other people won't ask. Cop says, knock down, drag out, fight, cuff them and stuff them. Finally get home at the end of the ship. And cop says, gunfight, bad guys down. I'm alive. Finally get home at the end of the incident. And they all say, the best sex I've had in months. Both partners are very invested in some very intense sex. There's not a whole lot of perks that come with this job. You find one, relax, and enjoy it. Okay, so y'all just heard that. I think I think it's another part as well that I want you to hear as well. Hold on. Of the city. Heard of the mountain man, the frontiersman? Nobody talks about frontiersmen anymore. We still talk about policemen. You are to your city, your county, your state, but the frontiersman was the frontier. You fight violence. What do you fight it with? Superior violence. Righteous violence, eh? Violence is your tool. Violence is your enemy. Violence is the realm we operate in. You are men and women of violence. You must master it or it will destroy you. Yeah. Okay, so y'all just heard both of those clips right there. And this is um from this man by the name of, uh, what's his name, David Grossman. And the first part of his name is just that gross because that, that's the type of person he just strikes me as. And he basically was telling, and mind you, this guy is America's number one police trainer. In case y'all didn't know, he's a police trainer. Remember how we keep saying that police need more training and everything like that? Nine times out of ten, they probably went through him. Now, he says in the first clip that I played that when it comes to the job of being a police officer and having to deal with what you deal with, and if it comes to a position where you have to use your gun and you have to take somebody out or you have to use excessive force or whatever the case may be, that when you go home, that's some of the best sex you will ever have. Now, this is something that we never really hear or actually like see firsthand because, you know, social media exposes a lot nowadays. We never got to see the inside of a room such as this before. Some rooms, we still don't know what is going on in the inside. But he basically just exposed something. Now, something we've all known to be true is that there's a lot of domestic uh, situations, domestic abuse situations when it comes to cops in the marriages that they are in, that they like to take their frustrations out from the job on their spouses. But he says the goal when you are off the clock and when you get off and you, you, you know, you just got done roughing somebody up or if you come push, come to shove, you killed them. When you go home to your spouse, that'll be some of the best sex you'll ever have. I can't help but think that if they'll be in domestic abuse situations, that that sex that they have is probably that rough, gutter, aggressive, damn near feels like rape sex. But the fact that he said that, he says killing, he says sex after killing another human is the best sex, a very intense sex, and one of the perks that comes with the job. And he said that with a smile on his face and even laughed when he said it. So that lets you know he's probably done that. Well, I'm not going to say probably. He has done this more than likely. In his past. And maybe even still to this day. Like I said, we've even said that a lot of people get off on the death of black people. It's one thing if they kill someone else. But if they kill a black person and this and what he's saying is true. Oh, trust and believe they're going to go all the way in. Because that's salivating right there. Now, the next part, the next video the clip that I played, he says um, that sex after killing. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me read the next part. He says that he well, he is booked to do police trainings most of the year. It says he teaches cops that they are the man of the city, like what the frontiers men was to the frontier who fight violence with superior violence, righteous violence. The part that got me was the superior violence. So basically, he's drilling into their heads that these cops or would be cops are superior 
to average everyday citizens, even though it's the average everyday citizens that pays them and puts money into their pockets. That's what he's saying. That is what he is saying right there in that audio. Like, it can't be more clear than that. And I think it's some more, but I'm not going to play the rest of it. Those two right there is what stuck out to me the most as it pertains to this character right here. I have never heard of before until this day. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention and let you know that if they were in the room with him and he said that, just keep in mind that every time a black person dies at the hands of one of these pigs, nine times out of ten, they went home to their spouse if they have one and had probably gutter sex with them. If they listen to what he said, of course. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below to receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.